you will notice it we already studied the six properties of non metals now what is the first property non metals are not malleable non metals are brittle in nature that is the first property what is the second property non metals are not ductile understand so third property is non metals are good conductors or bad conductors everybody they are the bad conductors of heat and electricity but except what except two thing anybody can tell what is the except so except allotropes of carbon graphite so sir carbon allotropes of carbon so graphite and diamond diamond and as well as graphite so as we know diamond is what diamond is a good conductor of heat or electricity everybody open your mouth diamond is a good conductor of good conductor of heat graphite is a good conductor of electricity do you understand so other than this two all the non metals are bad conductors of heat and electricity so that is what we studied third property and what is the fourth property ready non metals are not lustrous in nature means they are not shiny surfaces but except one non metal what is the one non metal which is having shiny surface everybody yes iodine iodine so iodine is a non metal having lustrous appearance but basically what is the appearance of non metals anybody what is the basic appearance of non metals dull in they are dull sir understand so dull in appearance that is what the non metals will do next fifth property mr gokul what is the fifth property non metals are generally soft enough so is we can cut with a knife or not harini mitakshri so basically non metals are this so we can easily cut with a knife but if you open over the knife is coming if you if you cut with a knife but one and only except one thing what is that anybody can tell except one thing what is that except diamond, diamond. so diamond is not even uh only strongest one in uh, non metals compared to the metals also the hardest natural known substance to the human is what the hardest natural known substance is what diamond is on understand so it is also allotropic form of carbon so like same way sixth property we studied non metals are not strong enough so they have low tensile strength or high tensile strength everybody low tensile strength. tensile strength do you understand all of you so no low tensile strength all the metals are in low tensile strength that is what now so the next property we are going to continue from here that is what the seventh property which we have to study so what is the seventh property chaitanya harini any metals already you studied correct guys what is the use yes gokul Yeah. So non metal sir non metal is maybe so basically you can take metals at room temperature what is the state of metals open your mouth what is the state of your metals solid solid except what metal that is what mercury and remaining all the metals are solid state is there any metal in gaseous state at the room temperature everybody you no. can no no sir but if we'll take the non metal they are maybe solids liquids or gases at room temperature please write it non metals are non metals are maybe solids liquids or what is that gases at what temperature guys room temperature that is what you have to remember now can i ask you one question guys let me see how many of you are uh, studying what is the metal which is uh, uh, becoming liquid soon at the room temperature by varying small change in temperature if you hold in our hand also it will turns into liquid what is that metal anybody the metal which will melts when we are keeping in our hand anyone now buddy gallium sir gallium very good omar gallium and also cesium you can see next 
So the temperature is just, I taught you the values also. Do you remember ready? Methoxy, but no response. So that values also I taught you in Kelvin and as well as degree Celsius. So gallium is the next metal which will melt by keeping your hand. That is what due to our body temperature also it will melt. That is what very small around 30 degrees Celsius is the boiling point of that one. That is why it will easily will melt. That is sorry, the melting point of air. It will melt by changing small temperature. Okay. So forget about it. In our textbook, I have shown you one red color paragraph. Do you remember? Do you know table? The table is very important. In that only they are saying. From learn it. So non-metals are maybe solids, liquids, or gases at room temperature. So non-metals, NM, is it is it present in all the states or not? Everybody respond. Is it present in all the state or not? So solids it is present, liquids is present, gases is present. Example, solids, anybody? Solids. That is what three physical state we can say. Solids what? Sir, solid is carbon, sulfur, phosphorus. Yes. Solid. Liquid bromine is the only metal in liquid. Bromine is the only liquid non-metal. And gases, we know that hydrogen. Hydrogen, chlorine, oxygen. Chlorine, chlorine, nitrogen, bromine, oh, sorry, uh, of course, bromine not. Bromine is a liquid. Hydrogen, okay, fluorine, 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 okay, fluorine gas, nitrogen, nitrogen gas, nitrogen. okay, so this is all nitrogen. is called as gas state. That is what you have to remember. So this is what the seventh property. All of you write it seventh property is it okay everybody yes sir yes understand Mitakshri harini next eighth property so now what is the eighth property of metals i want to know that let me see who will say eighth property of metals ready what happened kaushik arun kailas krishna call to arun kailas Somebody? Sir, uh, non-metals generally have a low, uh, low melting point. How you know, Omar? Because metals property, what is the metals property? Metals have high metals melting point. Generally have high melting point and boiling Very. point. Very good, right. Non-metals have comparatively low melting points and boiling points. Non-metals have See, Omar writing notes also very clearly. I like it. Like Hari, Reddy also. Very few of you are not following the notes well. Mr. Gokul, write neatly. Non-metals have comparatively low MP and BP. What do you mean by MP, Mithakshri? Melting point and boiling point. Yeah. Sir. Comparatively low melting point and boiling point. Please write. Non-metals have comparatively low melting points and boiling points. Prima, everyone. Now, if you take any non-metal, basically, except graphite, all of you should remember, non-metals non melts and vaporizes at very low temperatures. Understanding? So, non-metals melts and as well as vaporize vaporize at very low temperatures very low temperatures for example for example if you take sulfur if you take what sulfur do you understand all of you please respond having a melting point of you know sulfur melting point how much everybody can guess just 190 degrees Celsius. How much it is? 119 degrees Celsius. Do you understand all of you? So that is why you can see majority of non-metals, they are having extremely low boiling points due to which they exist in which state at room temperature? They exist at which state at room temperature? Everybody? Everybody? What state they are present? Very low boiling points. 
low boiling points. That is why at room temperature, what is the state methoxy ready? At room temperature, they are in which state? Yes, yes, yes. So, more non metals are in which state, guys? Now, everybody, more non metals are in which state? Gaseous state only. Gaseous. Why? What is the reason behind? Because of their boiling point is less. So, that is why they will be exist as gaseous at room temperature. Is it okay, everybody? Yes, please respond. All of you. Now, here also an exemption is there. Except one and only non-metal. That is also allotrope of carbon. Can anybody guess? Yes, please. Graphite. Graphite. Not diamond, Harry. Graphite. Remember, except graphite. So, do you all know what is a graphite melting point? Anybody? Do not almost double of iron. What is the iron melting point? Check your notebooks and tell me. Why Gokul not responding? Harish, Akilan, no response. What is the melting point of iron? See there in a notebook. I have already taught you. Around 1500 and something. Yes or no? You know the melting point of graphite. 1575 degrees Celsius. Yes. The non metal, which is graphite, has very high melting point, which is 3700 degrees Celsius. Very high melting point. Understand, Mithakshri? How you know, Omar? Are you putting in Google? Yeah, no, sir. You already gave me notes, sir. Yeah. Where did I give? That day, sir. That day, sir. While oh. you are teaching. Um, yeah. So, having sir, melting point. Uh, yes. 3,700. Yeah, copper, copper is metal. Copper is, is a metal. That is copper is a metal. Copper is a metal. This is non-metal. Understand? That is. Okay, everybody? Yes, so, except graphite, most of the non-metals are low melting points and boiling points. And that is why majority of non-metals, they are present in which state? Akilan? They are present in gaseous state because their, their boiling point is very, very low. That is what you have to remember. Understand, everyone? Please note it down. Any doubt? Ask me. Hey, what happened, Mr. Kaushik? No response. Next, ninth property. Let me take ninth property. What is the ninth property, everybody, Mr. Kaushik? Yes, please. Non metals have low densities. Non metals have non metals have low densities. Non metals have. Non -metals have. Yeah, please, Johan, ask me what are the doubt. Non metals have low densities. So metals basically will take. What do you mean by density? Anybody can tell me now. I already talked to the concept density. Yes, please. What is the density of body? Density. density is equal density. to what? what is Mass per volume. I am not hearing the voice. Some disturbance. Who is that voice? Harish, your voice is disturbed. Mass per voice. Some disturbance. Who is that voice? Please, uh, voice is uh, disturbance. Uh, Omar only I am saying, Harry. Density is equal to what? Mass by volume. Yes or no? So what about the density of metals? Is it more or less density of metals? Density of metals, I am asking. More. more. And what is the unit of density? Mithakshri? Gokul? Density of units. Units of density. Everybody should say. I already taught you. Gram oh. per cubic centimeter. Or we can say... Kilogram per kilogram cubic, cubic meter. meter. Understand? So this is SI unit and this is what? CGS unit. You all forget everything. I don't know what happened to Kaushik and Reddy. No response. So basically, if you take all the non metals, yes, please respond. Yes, sir. Ask me. So if you take that is why non-metals are heavy substance or light substances. Non-metals are. 
non metals are light substances because they are having low densities or high density yes they all are yes they all are having low densities so if we we'll take for example a solid non metals having a density of 2 g per cubic centimeter what is a solid non metals density everybody solid non metals 2 yes solid non metals like sulfur if we we'll take what is the density everybody density of a solid non metal which is equals to 2 g per cubic centimeter so solid itself like this means what about the gas is it gas is more or less gas is more or less density of gases more or less nobody will answer less less understanding that is what you have to remember so the density of a gases is even very very low liquids is less and gases if we we'll take gases gaseous non metals having very very low densities is it okay all of you please respond that is what understand are yes sir yeah now one here also an exemption is there anybody can tell what is that exemption anyone omar or exemption will be there what is that except 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 who except iodine except what except what guys iodine iodine so please remember that so iodine is the only non metal which is having little high density okay right yeah iodine one non metal yeah omar ask me one non metal iodine which is having high, high density and that value is you know how much 4.93 gram per cubic centimeter is it okay mithakshri harini yes please so that is what so one and only non metal which is having little high density is iodine basically all the solids what is the density to low, two gram per cubic centimeter and gases is very very low and except iodine which is having little high density that is what 4.93 gram per cubic centimeter is it okay everybody please respond kaushik no response at all like this means i will never respect i will never be happy at all i am saying akilan also i'll be very happy yeah ask no more anybody yes okay next me... your voice is not clear omar i think network okay, problem is okay akilan are you clear akilan kaushik you also respond so which is the only non metal having a density it should mean chart omar that is what iodine we can say so iodine is having density of how much ready 4.93 gram per cubic centimeter 4.93 okay. next next non metals are not sonorous 10th property non metals are non metals are not sonorous what do you mean by sonorous i want that everybody so the ringing song ringing sound when we hit with the hard surface if the object will make ringing sound the property is called as something anybody can tell mr akilan mr gokul sonorousness what is called yeah sonorousness we used to called as sonorousness is it non metals will show the sonorousness or anything if will hit with a hard surface what will happen most of the non metals are already gaseous and whatever the solid non metals they are very soft in nature they are cut we can easily cut with a knife so if i will hit with some other substance they will never make ringing sound do you understand all of you so yeah yes omar so the ringing sound they will never produce that is what non metals 
understand so, which one solid or liquid or gas basically which one will produce sound solids or liquids or gases solids only understanding so that is what solid, so, solid non metals do not make a ringing sound when we strike them solid non metals is it doesn't mean that liquids and gases will make solid non metals is it hari no no liquids and gases it is not possible to make heat them is it yes or no that is why so solid non metals do not make a ringing sound do not make a ringing sound do not make a ringing sound when we strike them is it okay everyone please respond there is no exception understand me taxi no exception that is what you have to remember next last property let me see who will say anybody last property metals having only single color that is what silver color except copper and gold but here different different colors non metals have, they have many different colors that is what non metals have many different colors is it okay everybody yes please that is what you have to remember non metals have many different colors so if we'll take for example sulfur what is the color of sulfur anybody sulfur sulfur is in yellow what is the color of sulfur everybody sulfur color yellow understand now yellow. phosphorus color phosphorus two kinds of phosphorus are there either red phosphorus and white phosphorus phosphorus red or understanding white phosphorus now chlorine gas what is the color of chlorine mr reddy mr uh, akilan chlorine gas yellowish green what is that Chlor yellowish green understanding it is a gas next Bro bromine what is the bromine red brown color hari Ch first chapter copper sir yeah no 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 hari mamitakshi do, yes, do you remember first chapter we mixed diffusion by converting two beakers one beaker bromine gas one beaker air air particles air and as well as bromine gas do you remember ready bromine yes, bromine is easily yes, easily can form easily what can form mr rakilan easily forms vapors yes, understanding so we have taken bromine gas so what is the color of bromine gas red brown do you remember it actually forgot everything harini yeah red brown that is what you have to remember so that is why we can say non metals is having not same color different color now what about the hydrogen oxygen gases color anybody hydrogen and oxygen are you able to see the oxygen anybody can anybody yes, able to see yes, the sir. oxygen no no so no color means what is no, the no, what is the the colorless colorless that is what so non metals have many different colors non metals have many different colors they will show different different colors different substances that is what please write it i understand everyone yes yes once it is completed let me now yes, this is all about metals and non metals all the 11 and 11 22 properties 11 properties of metals and 11 properties of non metals i taught you now as i told you the what is the known elements to the man till now till today what is the known elements to the man anybody known elements to the man one 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 eight elements so out of this one one eight elements most of the metals are what solids or liquids or gases most of the metals natural metals most of the metals are solid metals only understand and in that you can notice it 
what about the non metals non metals are less in count or more in count that is what i want less in count or more in count total non metals please respond non metals are less in count or more in count yes please non metals are less in count or more in count everybody can you hear me can you hear me harish everybody yes sir yeah so what is the count of non metals less or more that is what my question is it non metals or count is less or more everybody yes please yes, less but is it necessary or not for our survival do you think that metals are more so that who will be needed more for us metals or non metals metals are more and non metals are less doesn't mean that non -metals, non metals is not less useful so if we we'll take here though the non metals are very small in number but as compared to the metals they play very important role in our daily life maybe the count of metals is more but non metals having more importance in our life will you accept it everyone harish joel omar yeah that is what so why means sir let us see sir how you can say for example we all we people called as living organisms will you accept it you and me or everybody in the meeting yes vetakshri we all people called as what living organisms so our body is made up of what our body is made up of what carbon understanding so carbon is one of the most important non metal because all the life on this earth is based on carbon compounds so non metals are important or not 